<laughs> and people say they're even better than Akatar. This is my fit. For a long time, I didn't share what I was going through all of 2022. I literally am so shocked. <laughs> Dan has been teaching Arky how to cook. Because I got both. I'm not sure which one I'm going to keep. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm currently filming on my phone because I wanted to film my skincare since people have been actually commenting me a lot lately on my skin, which is probably the highest compliment I could get since I've struggled with my skin for years. And I don't have a set skincare routine that I follow strictly every single day. It honestly depends on the season. It depends on the weather, depends on my cycle. This is kind of like what I've been enjoying lately. It's just a bunch of random crap like that I've been testing out and trying out. And I'm gonna show you what I like. Hopefully you can kind of see okay. My skin has a little bit of rosacea still, but I mean, I don't think that's ever gonna go away even with all the treatments I've had done. It just is what it is. That's okay, it's the way my skin is. Starting off with cleanser. This is my everyday cleanser. It's from Youth to the People. It's the Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. It's so good. This is my second bottle. And I sometimes don't wash my face in the morning. I'm gonna be honest. I like to just rinse my face and then put on products. But every night I'll use this. Or if I'm in the shower, I have a different cleanser. It's from Junk Elephant. It's like the foamy cleanser or whatever. And I'll use that if I like I'm taking a long luxurious shower where I wash my face, but I'm just gonna rinse my face today I'm not gonna wash it So I just rinse it look how red I got just from that the dermatologist explained to me how it's just my Well my pigmentation, but also the little blood vessels are very close to the surface of my skin So when you touch it, it just gets more red that's why when I work out, it gets more red. If I eat spicy food, if I'm embarrassed, like it really shows. This from Skin Republic, Hyaluronic Acid 1% and Niacinamide. I also really like the Niacinamide from La Roche-Posay. This, this is like basically empty. I've been trying to get every little drop out, but this one is also really good. It's super hydrating and you really don't need a lot. Like a thick dollop like that and I just tap it into my skin. And I learned that tapping is better than rubbing because it helps your skin absorb it a lot better. And it's just gentle, doesn't create as many wrinkles supposedly, I don't know. I just know that my skin has been feeling so hydrated lately, so that's what I'm doing. And then I bring it down my neck. I also used this for the first time last night, this serum from Lancome, really good as well. Then for moisturizer, there's been a few I've been trying out, but the one for the daytime that I've been really liking is this from Tarte. It's like the dewy skin cream. I don't use the little thing on top because I have long nails. So I just go like that. I don't know if this is good for your skin. I like the way it feels underneath my sunscreen and I like the way it feels on my skin. I know a lot of people have also asked what self tan I use. Um, I don't currently have any self tan on. This is a natural tan because I'm outside like every single day doing activities. We're either at the beach, at the pool or just outside with our, like at the park or doing act, literally doing activities. I just put the rest on the backs of my hand. Uh, so I'm, I get quite tanned easily, but I use a lot of SPF and I always have so much SPF on my face that my face never tans because I just lather it. So I have a few SPFs that I love. Obviously my like holy grail is this one from La Roche-Posay. I like that it's tinted. And then I've been really liking this one from Supergoop. There's also the glowy one, which is really nice, but... I have this one, which I'm loving. Pula Organic Do Good Illuminating Serum Sunscreen with SPF. So I just put a bit of this 
The only issue I have with this one is that it does leave a white cast on my face, but I really like the glow. So I have been using a skin tint on top. By the way, none of this is sponsored. These are just products that I've been testing out and loving. And it does have a bit of a sunscreen smell, but I really like how dewy it makes my skin. It's so shiny and pretty and makeup just sits really well. Oh my gosh, this is twisting so much. So for the skin tint, you guys are gonna laugh because it's very different than the color of my face, but it matches the rest of my body because it's hard to tell on camera, but the, my skin is like a completely different color than my face. It's always been this way. But this is the one that I use. If you're curious, I'll link everything below. I just take a tiny bit like that, and rub it between my fingers. And rub it into my skin and down my neck. I also go behind here because my hair is up. I don't want to have a line. I know it looks very wild right now, but trust the process because it just really settles into my skin and then blends with the color and then it matches the rest of my body. And then the only other thing I do for makeup is brush out my eyebrows with a little bit of the Benetint, I think it's called. And that's it. I'm not going to put any mascara on or anything like that. I just wanted my face to match my body. I have leftover stuff in it from yesterday, like that waxy stuff from Amazon. And then I just have to put on earrings because I only have my second holes in, but I want to put in some nice ones here and my rings. And that's that. That's my skincare. So yeah, I'll link things down below if you're curious. Okay, we are going to the bookstore today. We're going to grab some coffee and go get some books. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, obviously you guys know I'm in my fantasy era and I will talk more about the books as this vlog goes on, but I was in a real big Akatar hangover and I felt like I could not find another book that I liked as much and a TikTok really helped to get me out of that hangover. It said that stick with the same author and the Throne of Glass series is going to really help you. I just didn't know what order I was going to read them in because there is a prequel, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. I just want to say a quick thank you to the love and support that I have been receiving on my last video talking about the surgery that I had and Dan and I like our plan moving forward with, you know, baby number two and fertility and our health and basically all that stuff. I just want to say thank you. It has been really nice to connect with people over this. For a long time, I didn't share what I was going through all of 2022 because I just was not in a good place. I was in a very dark place. And once I felt better about it and I brought it to the internet, I actually really felt good with my decision to do that because I have connected with so many people with not just the same diagnosis as me, but people that have been through so many different things when it comes to infertility and just the hope that I see on the other side. I don't know. It has made me feel so much better and more confident in myself, but also knowing that I have this support system of other women in a similar situation. That makes sense. So I'm really glad I shared it. Not, not even just to help other people feel less alone, but to help me feel less alone because everyone I know in my life is just popping out babies, baby number two, baby number three, their first, like it's just, it's so incredible and amazing and wonderful, but it's also really hard to go through when you're yearning and longing for something so much. And it helps me feel like, okay, I'm not the odd one out here. I have these people that are in the same situa situation as me and I could talk to them. It helps me feel so much better. So thank you for allowing me the space to talk to you guys and feel like we're friends and yeah. Leading into today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. It's my favorite sponsorship because it is so near and dear to my heart. I use it for my therapist and I love my therapist so much. BetterHelp is an online website that helps you connect with a licensed therapist from the comfort of your own home. They have so many people on that website. 
um, that deal with all different types of things. So I started originally for postpartum and then I transitioned more into like things to do with infertility and just anxiety and feeling unmotivated and feeling like I was in this weird lull in my life and they have helped so much with that and um, I'm just really grateful for that website. Don't feel like you can't be honest if you're not feeling the connection. I said this in my last sponsorship video, but like it's a two way street. So you need to feel that connection both sides. If you're not feeling it, they're not going to get offended and there is no extra cost to switch people. And I know it is the hardest step is to start. But once you do and once you connect with that person, I promise you it's going to feel so good long term. People spend money on their physical health for going to the gym or classes or whatever it may be and I think your mental health is just as important it's all connected and I'm glad that the conversation is so open about mental health now because I felt very alone as a teenager and early early adult I didn't know what was wrong with me I felt like I was so odd and just didn't realize that I had an undiagnosed mental illness that needed help and I'm in such a better place now and even throughout the course of my life I'm never going to stop therapy because there's going to be different obstacles I'm going to have to you know go through but also a reminder it is not a self-help line it's not a crisis line you can talk to your therapist to schedule appointments on the website and chat with them but it's not like immediate help so if you need immediate help obviously call 911 the police something like that but I just think it makes things so much easier. It's more affordable than things you'll find in your area, at least for me. It definitely is. And it makes it easy because it's from the comfort of your own home. You can do it like in your car, in your house, schedule it on your own time. And it is worldwide. So I will have a link down below in my description. And you can use my link, which is betterhelp.com slash Chintomo to get 10% off your first month. Betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Chintomo to get 10% off your first month. So we are going to go get some coffee, go to the bookstore, get some books, add to my collection. Let's go. Okay, we got our Starbucks. I got a grande chai, iced chai latte with a shot of espresso and oat milk. Simple, but so good. And I got the buka. You got the buka? Ah. That's good. Four phones down. I like your tower. I don't like the holes. You don't like the holes? No. Oh, I thought you liked the tunnels. I want to do this. Hey, water pestle. Those are coloring pencils. What's this? That's a sharpener. What? To that? sharpen the pencils. Some of them, see, they need to be sharpened. Wow. Can you do a circle? That's a big circle. Nice job. But see? See? Now you can see the color. I That's called sharpening. Rainbow. I want to do a rainbow. Well, here, I'll give you some more that need to be sharpened because that one's already sharpened now. Look at this. This one has. It's a cooking day today, cooking slash cleaning. Dan has been teaching Arky how to cook. They've been doing so many meals together. And right now they're doing egg sandwich. And then they're gonna bake muffins. And I'm on laundry duty right now. It is a big cleaning day today. We have so much to catch up on when it comes to chores around the house. Normally we like to do a weekend reset, but we've been very busy this weekend, so we did not have a chance to do it. So it's Monday morning and we're just trying to get everything done. I actually really enjoy doing this on rainy days, which is today, because I feel like I'm not missing the day to do activities outdoors. I actually don't know if I've showed this before on YouTube. I can't remember, but I'm not kidding when I say this stuff is, I don't know how it works. It's like all natural too. I got off Amazon, it's like $18 Canadian. I'll link it down below if you're curious, but this got out wine, red wine from my white couch. And like, 
I just sprayed it, let it sit, and wiped it with water, and it completely came out. And um, for like grass stains, blood, scat, like literally anything, this removes it. I don't know how it works, it's not sponsored. It's magic. Someone had posted it, I think it was Instagram or TikTok, and they showed like the before and after and how it worked. Instantly added to my cart. I wish I filmed it, like when the wine was spilled, I literally wish I had filmed me spraying it and then the wine coming out, because I was genuinely shocked on how well that worked. So I'm just keeping a bunch of them stocked up in my laundry room because they're awesome. I don't know if I'm in frame or not, I have no idea, but I am heading to a coffee shop so I can go edit. I have a bunch of work I need to catch up on and like emails I need to go through and things that I'm planning that um, I need to get out of the house for because it's just kind of an ugly day and so Dan and Arky are inside and I just wanna be able to focus and not be distracted. I'm also going to bring my current book because while I wait for things to import or export or anything like that I'm kind of just sitting there waiting for it and instead of going on my phone and scrolling TikTok or playing a game I'm gonna read instead and I did get a few requests um, from my I don't know if it was last vlog or just on Instagram but people were asking if I could talk more in depth about like my thoughts on books when I finish them in YouTube videos and so if you watched one of my last vlogs. I was in the middle of reading, which one was it again? I'm like really in the thick of like a fantasy series right now um, that I'm listening to in an audiobook, not physically reading. So I'm like forgetting it was Love Theoretically. And I said I was probably gonna give it a four on five, but I actually decided to give it a three on five when I finished it. I know a lot of people love that story. I don't know, for me, I just didn't connect to it as much. It was fine, it was decent. That's why I gave it a three on five, but not like anything lower. Um, I was entertained, I liked the smut, like the love story was cute. It was just very much like, it's just the super cheese, which is fine. Like it's, I just think I'm so tainted now with the Akatar series and now I'm currently on, um, well, I'm starting with the Assassin's Blade, but I'm doing the Throne of Glass series. And just the stories of those books and the characters, I connect with them so much more and I just, I'm so into that world that I think it's hard for me to really get into anything else just because it's so cheesy and like, not like this would not happen. But that's kind of what I like about them. There's like the easy summer beach read. So this one is unfortunately yours. It's by Tessa Bailey. I like her other books, like it's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. So I'm about, I want, what, what chapter? I'm on page 44. Really not into it that much, but I'll definitely talk about this more when I get, when I finish, or just throughout. I'm gonna go get some work done, grab a coffee, and then come home and get the chores to the house finished. Okay, I just got home from working for a few hours. I was just like, as I was trying to export my video and like waiting for that to be finished and like process and all that stuff before I uploaded it to YouTube, I swear to God, I read the same page like four times and every single time I finished, I forgot what I read. Does that ever happen to you? That's kind of when I know I'm not super into a book, but I think it's because like I said, I'm tainted. I started The Assassin's Blade which is in the Throne of Glass series, which is also by the same author who does Akatar. And I saw a TikTok where a girl who was like a huge fan of Throne of Glass and like all of the author's series, she said, if you're gonna read the Throne of Glass series, there's like 
four different ways you can read them in like a different order because the assassin's blade is actually like a prequel to the first book and the first book the author wrote when she was actually 16 years old so the first two books supposedly are like kind of hard to get into but then once you're in them you're in them and people say they're even better than akatar a little less like smut but still the same kind of vibes with fantasy and all that so I'm a fantasy girl. I've always loved like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, everything like that. So I am very, very into this type of genre. In the explanations of the four different ways you can start the series, the one that I felt like was the best was to read the prequel first, even though it came out later. So it is really intense, the book. Um, so I'm sure the next two that I go to, like the first, technically the first book and book two are gonna be a little slower but I already know I'm gonna love the series just based off of this like small prequel book. So huge fan already. I'm like almost done the book and I can't stop thinking about it, but I am listening to the audiobook, and I honestly think it makes such a difference. I love to read, don't get me wrong. I love the physical books, but sometimes like I'm so busy, I don't have as much time. And I think that's why I'm not getting into this Tessa Bailey one because I'm reading it so far in between like I kind of forget what I read and then it's like a week and a half later when I can pick it up again whereas the audiobooks I can listen to when I'm walking the dogs when I'm doing laundry when I'm uh literally running errands in the car so and the actor is like so good so it feels like I'm in the story anyways I'm a huge fan I have just gone through this book so fast and i cannot wait for the next ones and i'm glad that there's so many books in the series because i'm very very excited and selena her character is just awesome like i just love her character so far please no spoilers if you've read the series and i know also someone said her other series crescent city i think it's called those are also good and um they're supposedly the cure to the akatar Hangover, and then obviously I talked about this before, but Fourth Wing is supposed to be incredible as well. That's by a different author, but I'm definitely gonna be reading that. Oh my goodness, I just love books. I love reading, I love stories. Just makes me so happy, and I feel like I genuinely know these characters. Like, they're real people in my life, and this is a real story. Like, when I was reading Akatar, the Bat Boys, I'm like, I know them. They're real people. They're in my life. I miss them because I haven't heard anything, but I know her next book is coming out, I think in 2024, and I'm praying it's Asriel's version. And I'm wondering what's going to happen there. I love Asriel, Team Asriel. Resand is always my favorite. I know a lot of people love Cassian. I love Cassian too, but I still love Resand over Cassian no matter what. But Asriel's so mysterious. Like, I need to know his story. So I'm excited about that. I know you guys miss Dan. How's your summer been so far? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. How'd your race go? Last yeah. time I vlogged, we talked about how you had your half Ironman coming up. It was good. Uh, my knee hurt by the end, so I limped a little bit. But uh, other than that, it was good. I was happy. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I have a couple more races this summer, so hopefully I don't, uh, I don't get hurt. <laughs> I still think, though, Dan, like, no matter what, even if you hurt yourself, you did that whole race. You didn't stop. You mm -hmm. finished, and it's like incredible. <laughs> Seventy point three miles Duty. for a half Ironman. I was not aware of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you do it. <laughs> you gotta blow. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna do it again? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> it's so funny because Dan's hair was this color when he was this age and look how dark Dan's hair is now you're gonna be darker when you're older <laughs> oh my goodness I need to show you because Dan made homemade mac and cheese for dinner I need to show you what it looks like it looks so good we made well he made an extra one for our friends who just had babies they had twins and he put peas in ours because Arkham loves peas. I like that one. So good. Please have that. Well, it's for dinner, my love. Right now it's only 3.30. We have to wait a little bit longer, okay? Hold on. I do have to ask you a question. I did get both of these. I know it's literally the summer, but they're going to be sold out in the fall. 
So these are the new ones. They're like the mustard seed color of the Taz Ugg slippers, the platform ones. And these are the classic um, camel suede ones with the red stitching. And this is like a tan brown stitching. Which one do you like better? Because I got both. I'm not sure which one I'm going to keep. Dan says he likes these ones better. I love these, but will they wash me out when I'm not tan? Like they're so cute. I know they're going to be sold out. What do I do? Or do I wait and see what I like better in the fall and then just sell these to whoever wants to buy them for me if they're going to be sold out in the fall? So it's kind of they're washed out with my floors and like they kind of match a bunch of things. Wait, if I go here, like... I don't know which one I like better. It's so hard to decide, they're both cute. I got these ones from Browns and these ones from Little Burgundy. If you're from Canada, you'll know what that is. I'm not sure if it's anywhere else in the world. Um, I am a size seven and a half in shoes and I got a size eight for reference and there's just like a little bit of room so it's perfect with socks. Now let me know which ones you think I should keep. And if you hate them both, that's cool too. You don't have to like them. I know some people really hate them and they really hate the Birkenstock. Um, Boston clogs, but I love them and I love these so it doesn't bother me. I just want to know which color you think is nicer. It's a hookie time. Good morning. What are you saying? Saying good morning. Good morning. It's a boo. It's a meow. I just got my first period after the surgery, and it's pretty. It's pretty heavy, so I'm in a little bit of pain right now. But it's okay. It's a beauty. So for breakfast this morning. We're having some yogurt with granola and honey. And this is the yogurt of choice for this morning. It's so good. I love this brand. I love their coffee yogurt. If you've ever tried it, it's so yummy. Going to the Barbie movie. And this is my fit. Although, I was gonna wear heels because we're going for dinner before, but sitting in a movie with heels does not sound comfortable, so I think I'm just gonna wear sneakers, and then I'm gonna bring a sweater, a pink sweater, because I usually get cold. And the good thing about really oversized sweaters is I can actually just take off this shirt underneath and be in a comfy sweater, and then these jeans are super comfortable. They're like, I don't know, seven years old, or six years old from a Goldie. I like that loose jeans are back in style because I have a ton of loose jeans. Although realistically, I always just dress the way I wanted to dress. I didn't really care if like, you know, people say skinny jeans are out. I'll still wear my skinny jeans if I feel like it, but loose jeans are way more comfy. So I'll just be wearing loose jeans forever because they look cute, but they feel like sweatpants. And then this top is also very old. If you remember it from like back in the day photo on Instagram. I don't even know where it's from. Have I said this in a vlog before? I said this definitely on Instagram, but I've been really trying to dress myself with clothing items that I already own, so I'm not spending as much money on new trendy pieces. I'm trying to just recycle my wardrobe. I'm going through old storage bins and finding old things, so I'm just having fun with it. Thinking this purse. What do you think? And then I'll put on my sneakers, socks and sneakers. And I'm so excited for the Barbie movie. Going, like I said, for dinner first. I'm going with a bunch of my mom friends. Like there are all these friends of mine that I've met within the last year or two that are moms. We all live close to each other, which is really nice. So we usually do like a girls night once a month, once every two months. Um, and then, you know, when this movie came out, we're like, okay, we have to go see the Barbie movie, so I'm very excited. Normally we just have a girls night, we put the kids to bed and then the husbands will all stay home and we'll all go to one of the homes and have like wine and cheese and snacks. And it's so much fun, but yeah, I'll let you know what I think after the movie. I can't believe I haven't seen it yet. Okay, it's the next day. Before I even talk about the Barbie movie, I'm almost finished the Assassin's Blade and I just got to a scene where like, I literally am, so shocked like I literally am so shocked <laughs> and sad I started crying and I was just thinking 
how insane it is that it's just a story, yet to me it feels so real. Anyways, the Barbie movie was so cute. Um, obviously, it's not like the best movie in the world. It's cheesy, it's whatever, but it's it's definitely a good movie. Like, I do recommend seeing it. It was fun to go with all my girlfriends. I've got some drinks before, some appetizers, and obviously popcorn at the movie theater. And we were laughing a ton. It's like very cheesy humor, but just like, it was just a good time. Today, I'm actually going to Arky's soccer, and then we're going horseback riding. Well. I'm going with my sister and my two cats and I'm so excited. Anyways, I really felt like having an ice cap. I haven't had an ice cap in a long time. If you know, you know. But I feel like Tim Hortons changed their like recipe. It tastes different. Or maybe I just haven't had it in so long that I like kind of forget. I also hate, I hate cardboard straws. They get so soggy. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Okay, maybe it was just the last one I had tasted weird because that tastes normal. But it definitely tastes different from when I was a kid, I have to say. And it kind of frustrates me that I can't get it with like oat milk or something. It has to be that cream because it does make me have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, now I can talk properly. I'm going to give a little spoiler. So if you haven't read uh, The Assassin's Blade or whatever any of those books and you don't want a spoiler I will put a timestamp on the screen right here that you can skip forward to but I just got to the scene where Sam was tortured and she sees his body and it was so like how do I explain this like obviously it was sad but it was almost wild to me that uh, just in one book I felt that attached to a character and when they died I genuinely felt heartbroken I remember when I would read Game of Thrones, like I'd be sad when a character would die for sure. But this was like, this is like if I were to watch a movie and the dog dies, like that's the way I felt with this. I think it's because Sam is such like an innocent character that just like meant well and loved Selena so much. I'm just like, why? <laughs> but you know what? I kind of had a feeling it was going to happen. Like, I don't know, just the way the writing was and like the foreshadowing, it was like, I was like, I feel like this is not going to go well. And then, yeah. I'm so sad but I understand now why people say if you want to be destroyed to read it this way first because that was that's really sad whereas I I don't know I haven't read Throne of Glass so please no spoilers but I have a feeling with because since that's the first book you probably know that she like had a lover that was killed and maybe this is why she's like out for revenge I don't know I don't know what the story's about but like this oh, I was so sad oh my god I feel so sad I'm gonna go hug Dan Let's say it's a boat that we're all in together that barely stays afloat while we all discuss the weather. How long can we all go on? Was just outside with Arky. I am obsessed with this bikini. I was sent it like a few months ago from Jade Swim and then it was in the PR package of something and I liked it so much I purchased a bunch of their other uh, bathing suits and bikinis. Um, but yeah, the quality is so good. I love the color, but I want to show you what we just got. It was 35% off on Amazon. It's like a dupe of the Dyson. We've had two different Dysons before and they've lasted us literally for years, but the second one is finally on its way out. And instead of paying another thousand dollars. This was like a hundred and something dollars and it's essentially the exact same thing. It looks like this, except in my opinion, it's way better. I'll link it below if you're curious. I don't know if it's still on sale, but there's so many dupes now for the Dyson and I feel like, especially when it comes to a vacuum, it definitely does not need to be the best of the best in my opinion. Like maybe for like the air wrap because I don't know, supposedly, it's better for your hair to use the Dyson because of the technology. I don't know how true that is. But when it comes to like vacuuming a floor, I don't need a thousand dollars for that. No, thank you. I also sold my Dyson air wrap to my sister because it was just, my hair was always so frizzy. I loved the blowout look. I just didn't like how frizzy my hair would be. And I had bought the original one that didn't have the smoothing thing. Anyways, whatever. I'm not spending more money on that. It's just not worth it to me. But I'm waiting for Dan to get home because we're going to my parents tonight for dinner and I've just been outside with Arky all day. Yesterday we went horseback riding. 
which was so fun. But this is what I've, I've been alone with him all day and it's just been nonstop. So my patience is kind of like, you know, cause it's just a lot of energy, but it's okay. We've had a really, really good day. We went to get coffee in the morning and went to a park. We we're there for like an hour and a half at the park. And then we went to a trail, just the two of us and went walking in a trail and it was so nice. And then he took a nap on the way home and we've been playing outside, playing in the sprinkler. We go to my parents, normally we go to the pool, but it's just been a lot of outdoor time today. Oh, you're gonna vacuum? Thank you. You have so much energy. You're the fastest boy in the world. You're so fast. I've never seen anyone run that fast. <laughs> I'm gonna chase you, go. <laughs> You're really fast. Oh, Finch needs to come in. Let's let Finch in. Oh, you don't want to come in? Hi, baby boy. Oh, baby, baby boy. Good boy. <laughs> 